My name is Steve Matice. I am a math and science teacher here at Roosevelt Middle School. I have been teaching for about seven years now. Steve had a problem. His classroom was too small for the 36 students who poured in and out every period, and too cramped to accommodate the student-to-student -student collaboration he knew encouraged deeper learning. They're extending this knowledge. When they're working together, they're happier and more positive and more likely to participate. I've got a lot of kids and a lot of desks. Things pile up very quickly. Um, even kids can sort of pile up very quickly in here. The maneuverability of this room is not always fantastic. Then he met the folks at the Third Teacher Plus, whose job it is to help educators reimagine their learning spaces. See how they all took on the challenge of remaking Steve's classroom to be a home for exploration, creativity, and better communication. Teachers around the country will totally identify with this classroom. An incredible number of kids and limited space. So one of the things we're gonna be looking at is how does Steve move around the classroom? I'm Christian Long and I was a high school English teacher for about 15 years. As a member of the Third Teacher Plus, our job is to create spaces that allow people to be remarkable students, remarkable educators. When people think design, a lot of times they think veneer, they think decorating. Yeah, we want it to look better, but unless we can change and facilitate a really productive classroom, then we're not really making a difference. I'm Melanie Kale, and I'm a design and learning strategist at the Third Teacher Plus. We're going into a classroom, identifying things that work and things that could work better, taking $1,000, a designer's eye, a lot of community resources. We try to match the physical classroom environment to teaching and learning goals. And in one weekend, we hopefully realize them. So Stephen, tell, uh, tell us a little bit about this classroom, how it works, how it's laid out. There's very little room to sort of move through the middle, so I kind of stay on the outskirts when I do have to move around. I've got 36 kids, plus backpacks, books, jackets. There's so much stuff just within the aisles. Just trying to get through is, is almost like trying to get through rush hour. In your world here, what, what is crucial that you have up here to be successful in class? Um, I use the Elmo or the overhead a lot just for more direct teaching. The Elmo is a document camera that connects to a projector and projects anything that I'm writing up onto the screen. It's not a big workspace. Mm -hmm. Like, obviously, I've got a, a stool here to sort of make do. I do MacGyver this stuff. What we're hoping to do here with Steven's class is to really support this idea of collaboration. He's got to focus on teams. So you see these groupings of four, but at the same time, there's very little room from grouping to grouping. So the workshop we ran on Monday, the goal is to get a pulse on the students, see how they collaborate with one another, see how they interact with other adults. A lot of times words don't encapsulate what we're thinking, so we created a gallery wall for them to facilitate visual listening. The visual listening wall has hundreds of photos, it can be any size, and we give them dots to vote with. It allows us to quickly take the pulse of what their eye is drawn to, a place they want to learn in, a place they want to hang out in, a place that just looks cool. Yeah, We'd be like learning from each other, mm. whereas like not just learning based on one thing like from a book. And what we notice with them is they like sitting in their groups of four, but they want to feel like they're a part of a whole. And so in this class, we're considering the perimeter, we're considering how we can add more mobility. While we might not have a plan, Right this moment, we know our priorities. To help make teachers better designers, we ask teachers to invite critical friends into their room. That might mean another teacher in the same department, another teacher in a different department, or their architect friend from down the street. We do this thing called a solution session to create really concrete areas that we can prioritize and make happen. This session is really about putting some specifics on what we think can really make a difference for your everyday life. And on Monday morning, you have to have a classroom to teach in. We set up a big board. It kind of becomes our shared brain. It's a place where we can visualize all the things that we're thinking. We identified a handful of key areas that we were gonna focus on. Display, storage, furniture, teaching zone, personality. 
And we pick those spatial areas so that we can create concrete solutions around them. We ask Stephen to help us identify things that he thinks are gonna make a big impact. First things that kind of caught my eye were the teacher desk as a DJ desk board. <laughs> the positioning of the desks, I think, could be reimagined. Pull the doors off the cabinets. Activate the back one. The things that the designers are gonna do in this class have sort of opened my eyes. The insights that they've shared have made me think about things that I wouldn't ever have thought about.